Should we kill the vegan cheetah? This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. All right, y'all. I can't believe that I am making another video about the vegan cheetah, and already some of you have like come to the conclusion that I'm like secretly smitten with him or whatever. I don't know how my mind works, but I don't think any of you know how my mind works better than I do. I understand that there's a scandal going on. I understand that there is a lot of animosity towards Charles Marlowe right now, specifically in the vegan YouTube community. I think a lot of people have valid complaints about the guy. He said some pretty despicable things about a lot of people. This is a guy who calls himself the vegan cheetah and runs a channel based on vegan drama. This is a guy who's admitted to heroin addiction and committed felonies. This is a guy who's expressed some pretty problematic ideas about women and race and homosexuality. I don't think they're worse than a lot of the attitudes that I hear couched in the language of others who call themselves part of the vegan YouTube community but clearly the guy is no saint. But is what we're seeing towards Charles Marlowe really outrage or is it just other people wanting to get themselves involved in the drama? I think jumping onto the hate wagon just because it's become popular to hate someone and because it's become a great way to draw attention to yourself. I also think there are a lot of folks who are pretending to be supportive but are really just instigators and you know who you are. I'm crying bullshit. I want to specifically call out Eisel Mazard, whose video subtly suggesting that someone take out a contract on the vegan cheetah? Really? That's less harmful than suggesting that someone may have shown their vagina? It's fine if you don't want to be seen as coming onto someone. It's fine if you don't want to have, you know, Skype sex with someone. It's fine if you don't want to show your genitalia to another consenting adult. But I also think that it's kind of creepy that we're seeing that as some kind of behavior that in and of itself is unacceptable. If the person didn't do that, fine. If the person did do that, why is it anything that anyone should be ashamed of? Why would that mar someone's reputation just to find out that they were a sexual being? It is a little bit like something out of high school when everyone's so up in arms as if being accused of being engaged in a sexual act is something inherently bad and something inherently to be ashamed of. Maybe it's because we live in a culture where we're taught that our bodies and our sexuality is something that we are supposed to be ashamed of. And that, again, is bullshit. I also think it's a little bit ridiculous that no one seems to understand the context that any of this is happening within. This is happening in the context of a man who suggested grabbing women's pussies, being elected president of the United States. This is happening in the context of a man accusing the former president of spying on him. This is happening in the context of the dismantling, at least in the United States, of all of the agencies that protect our food, our air, our water. Now, I understand the things that the vegan cheetah has said have been hurtful to some people and maybe even damaging to people's reputations. Even though if you ask me, a person would have to be pretty stupid to lend any credibility to the words coming out of Charles Marlowe's mouth in the context in which they are coming out of his mouth. I'm not telling anybody how they need to feel about this, but I reserve the right to disagree. And I'm also willing to defend my right to have my own opinion. I also think it's pretty lame to categorize a difference of opinion as an attempt to silence someone. So if you wanna throw down just because you don't like what I have to say on the matter, then I guess we're gonna have to throw down. So fine, if you don't like the guy, don't watch his channel. If you think he deserves to be sued, fine, support the lawsuit. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dicky I love myself.